In the wake of September 11th, we had a presidency, an administration in the White House, uh, that felt that the traditional laws and restrictions that applied to government, uh, protecting the civil liberties of society broadly, no longer applied because we lived in an extraordinary circumstance. What it means is that they embraced technology, which throughout all of human history had never existed before, hadn't been developed at this scale. What it meant was that instead of having an FBI team, 20 people following around every suspect, they could rely on systems that they developed with a few technologists and apply it to the scale of the internet, the telephone network, the cellular network. We had mass surveillance in the United States for more than 10 years in the wake of September 11th, but in a government investigation, two independent White House investigations, not my own ones, uh, that came in the wake of my disclosures in 2013, they found that mass surveillance had never stopped a single terrorist attack in the United States. Further, it had not made a, quote, concrete difference in a single terrorism investigation. We have to find ways of enforcing our own rights. And this is critical even if you trust your government, right? Let's presume tomorrow the Canadian Parliament passes extraordinary reforms. Uh, we've got a renaissance of civil liberties in Canada. Uh, everything sunshine and roses, unicorns everywhere. You've heard about Justin Trudeau, obviously. I, I have, really. He's, uh, he's apparently going to do amazing things. Let's, let's see. Canada has had mass surveillance, bulk collection, secretly for years. Uh, it didn't stop the parliamentary attacks. Uh, the United States, again, more than a decade, it didn't stop the Boston Marathon bombing. We have to change culture. We have to become a post-terror generation that actively recognizes and rejects the politics of fear in favor of the politics of reason, of logic, of thinking, the politics of resilience, where we recognize that the world will never be completely safe in a liberal democracy because a liberal state is a state in which people have choice. And in any place where people have choice, there will inevitably be some bad actors who abuse that choice. If we think that anytime somebody does something wrong, we have to cut an arm off because we're afraid they might stab our hand, we're losing more than they are.